Good morning, Splash and Bubbles. Today, we're going to be thinking about what it means to be a body as a church. And we're going to have some help from our friend, Mr. Potato Head, here. So everybody, the first thing that I want you to do this morning is to take a moment, if you are able, to jump up and down, to wave your arms and legs in the air, and have a really good look at how you've been made. To look at your hands, to look at your feet, to look at, look at yourself and just see, oh, aren't I amazing? Look at this body that I've got. Imagine if you were a person that you were only made with eyes. Imagine if you look like that, if all people only had eyes and think you'd be able to see yummy things like ice cream or pizza. But all you'd be able to do is to see it. You wouldn't be able to eat it. But what happens if you didn't have eyes, but you just had a mouth? What if you just had a mouth and you were only a mouth? Then you could eat things, but you wouldn't know what you were eating and you wouldn't be able to smell anything nice, so you wouldn't know whether anything was really nice that you're about to eat. Or, what if you were just a nose, and then you could smell the yummy cakes that you were being made in the oven or whatever, but you wouldn't be able to taste them. You'd only be able to smell them. It would be ridiculous to just be one of those things. But what if we were just arms? Wouldn't that be completely strange? Because then we'd be able to pick up our toys, but we wouldn't be able to do anything else. We wouldn't be able to see them. We'd just have arms. So there's a guy in the Bible called Paul, and he said that the church was a bit like a body. It's made up of lots of different parts all of which are important and all of which need each other. So it's a bit like the way that children need the grown-ups around and grown-ups need children around, that we need musicians, we need people who make yummy cakes, we need people to teach us and pray for us, we need people who keep our building looking beautiful. We all need each other. And God's word says this, you are the body of Christ and each one of you is a part of that body. Each one of us, each one of you as bubbles and splash are important in the church. Important so we can care for each other, love one another and love God together. So for your activity today, you can do one of two things. What I want you to try and do is to either get a really enormous piece of paper and to draw around a member of your family or your household to make a great big person. Or if you haven't got a big piece of paper, just get a normal piece of paper and a teddy or a toy, line them up down on the paper, take a pen and draw around them so that you make the shape of a body. And then when you've done that, Take some pens and some colouring and some writing or however you want to. Talk about it with your parents or the people that you are living with and who care for you. And just think about what are some of the people in St Swithin's Church who are part of the body? What do they do? What are the different things that people do in our church family to make church happen the way that it does? And see how many you can come up with and fill the shape with lots of different drawings or writings and then when you've done that maybe you could say a prayer to thank God for all the different people that make up St Swithin's Church. I'm going to say a short prayer now as we finish. Dear God we thank you for the church, we thank you for St Swithin's and for our family. Father we pray please that you would remind us to be thankful for all the different people that make up St Swithin's for all the gifts you give them, for all that they do to look after us, to help one another, to care for each other as they love you. And we thank you for the church. Amen.